I'm standing in front of the strongest solo base that I've ever dreamt up, the Big TP base. I built something very similar in the past. It's small little brother, tiny TP. But this thing adds a whole new layer of protection and a bajillion squillion more doors. This thing is easily a 70 rocket raid tank, which ain't bad for a little old solo base. Look, it isn't perfect, with its one main drawback being that it doesn't have a shooting floor to defend from. But for me, I just added a few turrets outside and you could even add some indoor ones for that surprise attack if anyone was crazy enough to even attempt the raid on this base. Like, the thing is still standing right now on Winter Us Mondays. I've been checking on it daily and it's untouched five days strong. Whereas a lot of these big clan bases and medium-sized bases around me are in ruin or have vanished altogether. Also, I've got a Rust-related riddle for you. My air burns the flesh, but you can't stay away. My riches nourish the wipe so everyone can play. What am I? Anyway, so here I am, at the start of this story. I've got the Bard Dance song from Baldur's Gate 3 blaring after making it to the ranch, my first pit stop on this adventure. Soon I'd be leaving down the highway, where I'd be met with a couple of souls who would try and halt my progress. But being armed with a crossbow and a knife, I was able to fend them off. Then I made my way to the outpost for a second recycle with the loot I'd gotten from those two fallen road warriors. After that, I jumped back on my horse and headed east, where I found a nice open field with a neighbouring snowy mountain, which was good for nodes of all sorts. Once I had that, I began building the inner workings of the TP, meticulously laying down the foundations and putting the first room down for safety in case I were to be interrupted, which fortunately never happened. Brick by brick, stone by stone, I built up the heart of the base until I ran out of resources. And then I did another farm run, this time gathering all the nodes I could hold. Then I started building the sneaky second level to my TP base, which is where I'd be moving the tool cabinet to. We've done a big farm right there. Holy moly, that's a lot of metal. Before long, the base's core was done and I was ready to venture forth into the fresh wipe full of grand prospects and hopes. We're gonna need some comps now. We're gonna need comps and 6k stone, actually. Perfect. All right, we're gonna hit this one and go home. Ooh, I see two guys. What are they doing? They kind of just vanished for me. All right, we're home. Let's make some meds and a table for gunpowder to save on the cost of charcoal a little bit. Right, oh, we are gonna need metal frags. Take that. And that. Alright, we're gonna head over to Outpost by Wood and Metal Frags. Waterfall. And we'll recycle this real quick. Alright, we got the more gunpowder coming. 
chuck all that there. Grab a few more bullets. Right, now let's go on a little apex farm. The start has been insanely cruisy, actually. Bit of pump action shotgun over here. Let's have a look. My god. Oh, have a roll, sir! Come back here! Your friend died. Oh. Not proud of the shooting, but proud of the hole. Oh, we made it home. That is so much loot. All right, let's go. Try and find some more uh, farmers on this fine white day. I saw him too! Damn. Anyway, I grabbed another Tommy and I headed back out to try and score some easy loot from the fresh white farmers that were sneakily trying to build up across the lands. Right, let's head dome way. Primkit. Nice profit, bro. You got a bow, loser. Kill yourself. Why that guy was so angry? Anyway. I don't know if I want to waste my time waiting for the green boxes here. Oh, do I? Bro, I'm not sinking any more time into waiting for this. Fuck it. I'm out. I've been here for ages. I get him? All right, now I've got to get home. Could have looted that better, but imagine if I just died that to a bow guy. Oh my god! Thank God.
Okay, nice. Right, we've done some runs. Let's give our base a little TLC. Ooh, someone's compounding over there. Maybe we have a quick look at that. Whoever's here is doing it silently. I have not seen this person yet. And they're my neighbor. Solo? Is this a trap? Yeah, I knew it. Right, we're gonna need more wood. And then stone after that. Yeah, it is time. TLC on the base. Look at this. This ain't a home yet. This is a shell. I'm living in a big turtle shell. PvP has been nice, but yes, we need to get more work done. Good amount of scrap going on. Comps too. Right, let's get some nodes. Got a bunch of stone now. All right, now I remember ages ago I did this video. It was like uh, my new meta honeycomb, new meta two by two or something. It was awesome. I love that base design. I think it's cozy and slick, just like this one. But I remember a complaint was no one could see it being built because I built it at night time. And since it's going night time, I think I'll just wait. I'll wait till morning. But I can get everything ready to go. So when I came back, I could hear the first heli of the wipe getting taken up in the hills northeast of my base. But as I ran over, it suddenly changed directions and went away. My plans of positioning myself for a sneaky counter were gone now. But seeing as I was already out here, I just kept going. I thought someone was trying to take Kelly up here, so now I'm just running over here, I guess. Was my friend. Um. All right, I placed him a bag down. Only old Dubsy, old friend of mine. All right, remember these two guys with Tommy's over this way? I'm going there. Oh, you fucking fat dog, bro! It's one of the fucking beach. Put up fucking a fucking axe. And I hit a f***ing couple barrels <laughs> Kid was angry <laughs> Well, I ain't going down there I could have done it. I could have done it. After my short little recycle on this relatively peaceful roam, except for that Esha child on the side of the road, I left the ranch. That guy who was chopping trees down, well, it was unfortunate for him that I decided to run the way I did, but boy, am I glad I did run that way.
my god. That is insane. If I can get this home, oh, GG. I think horses have a way bigger hitbox on them right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy shit! That is insane! Stone and wood. That's basically done. Let me just make a couple things here. Oh, 
awesome. Right, let's get these furnaces going again. Right, let's get a tier 3 going. I'll actually pick this stuff up. Put the tier 2 upstairs. Haha, <laughs> that's sick! Look at that room, that's cool. Now, I forgot to do harp walls. I mean, I... No, actually, no, I can't. I can't even do them anymore if I wanted to. But it doesn't matter. Classic shelves, man. That's what's up. The old classic shelves. Dude, that room's tripping me out for some weird reason. Alright, yeah, that's sick. That is cool. The base was now basically done, except for a lot of garage doors and the upgrading. And I intended on going to the full HQM TP base, believe me. As I was finishing, I heard a fight near my base, and it sounded like two guys jumped another. I went out with my gun as a reward to myself for finishing my humble abode. Right, I didn't direction the fighting. Sounds like it's this way, though. Two of them. Where that guy's gun went. There were too many, I had no meds. I reckon that guy's got my Tommy. I reckon that, that was a laser on that. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. We got a lot of kills out of it, I guess, but didn't get the loot home. I gotta get home, I need meds now. God, a laser makes this gun so much better. All right, we're gonna need a fridge and a barbie. Let's get this fridge.
Thank God, Schooner of Pint. A friend and a grub through and through. He was door camping me, but one quick message would seem to deliver my kit back to me. Cease the door camping and have an alliance made. I mean, what's one Tommy kit in the grand scheme of things to him anyway? There was so much more to be gained with two grubs becoming allies for the wipe. Sorry, brother. Bruh, I'm just out here trying to do solo things. We're fucking grubbed by 20 million Sorry, dogs. Bro. Oh, bro, thank you very much. <laughs> All good. Where do you live? Well, I live on the other side of the outpost, next to the supermarket. Oh, yeah, that's been a good spot for PvP. Just started. I got this Tommy, so someone fell on that power line over there, and I fucking, they knocked themselves, and I just went and Jesus Christ. This dude, this dude lives next to me. I oh, know. You want tour? Oh yeah, why not? Looks fucking sick. I want to see like, cause I've, I've built pyramids in the past and I fucking don't know how to do the inside of them. This is TP farming mate, TP gaming. Holy fuck. Damn. This is fucking sick. Yeah, TC's up here. What's this box skin? Oh, that's lit, bro. This will be fucking impossible to raid. <laughs> it's gonna be a bitch, especially once a high quality the honeycomb. What's that box skin? That's fucking sick. The yellow one? Uh, I'll have to screenshot it. I can't say the word. Cocloma or some shit? One sec. There you go. Should still be cheap on the market. It's relatively new. Oh, well, yeah. Good luck, bro. Oh, yeah. Are you in a team, you, by the way? You solo? Are you, you. No, no, I'm not. No. No. Are you just solo or are you playing with someone? Nah, just solo. Oh, yeah. Friend of mine, door camp would be the dog. <laughs> oh shit! See, it's good to have friends on a server. After that interaction, I decided to do a little nighttime roaming. Worst mistake of my wipe. Oh my god, that's insane, bro. Silence Tommy in a bush, man. Hey, hey. I wonder if he picked it up from that guy I rinsed running along the road, maybe. But I swear I heard someone on that side too, like towards him. That's why I was creeping around to begin with and I didn't go loot him straight away. So maybe that was his teammate. All right, we're gonna wait till the sun comes up. Learned my lesson real quick, didn't I? Only cost me two Tommy kits. Ugh. Right, I need to kill some person with armor or something because this is my last hazard. All right, we got another kit secured. Oh yeah, I want to get into there. Sitting on my roof. Anyone can sit on my roof, bro. Holy shit, by the way.
did just see this guy leave. He might have gone on a recycle run. No, oh, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course, this is going to be Vinter's base. Oh my god. Come on in. Down you, bud. <laughs> Come get some health. What's going on? Not much, man. Not much. How you doing? Yeah, good, good. Uh, let me fry up some bear for you. You got a, uh, a seat or a... Um... Yeah, I'll make you a seat. Oh, that's yours, by the way. This is, uh, yeah, my little TP. Looks sick. Lots of room for activities. Nice. Look at you, yeah, all cozy. It's cooking some barbecue meat, you know, having a, having a smoke sesh with the Sir Winter himself. <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw some like TP looking base over here. I'm like, I'm gonna guess that's where he lives. Yeah, everyone just picks me as soon as they see some weird ass base. But also, there's I've got a weird ass base as a neighbor in the rocks, so you know, people could confuse that one too. Are you solo? At this point, yeah. All right, just wait for time when you're done. When you yeah, got a team. Scooter Appliance, another solo Would as well. Be. Yeah, out of fourth. Thanks, mate. Safe travels. Right, we need more wood. Man, today it's going great. There's still a lot more I could do, though, to that base. Another solo ally had been secured. The squad was growing full of them now, which was good, because we all live within three grids of each other. And mistaking your friends in fights when everyone flocks to them can get real annoying real fast. I'll take it. Yo, wait, we have the same character, lad. Look, lad. Same character. Oh, bro, please, please. Oh. Could hit me in the back. What a legend. Holy shit. Hey, four times scope, bro. 50 high quality, are they? Man, we are doing quite well. We are doing quite well indeed. Right, we need tech trash. I want to put a turret on our front door, and I want to put two. One looking backwards, I guess, kind of. Holy shit. <laughs> so, what was it? Any good loot? Yeah, oh, good loot. I got Tommy. the middle. Bro, I got. Yay. Yay! I got nine rockets. Your microphone sucks. After getting all of that loot home, I'd noticed yet another base had been put down right outside of my doorstep, and I wanted to get rid of it. Nothing worse than when groups move in, get established, then just mess with you for the whole wipe. It's something a solo needs to nip in the ass as soon as they can, if possible. And this one was possible. Metal doors ready to go.
They were just in there clapping, man. I feel bad, but I can't have this duo living outside my base. Sorry, guys. I, I am sorry if you're watching this. I, I can't have you living outside the base, like this close. He was going to seal me in. That's why I killed him as well at the time I was there. Yeah, this is them. <sighs> that name's ominous. Don't poke the bear. I don't like that because that bear has been poked. The next step for the base for me was to get the electric situation sorted. A well-lit base is a cozy base, and I was all about that cozy TP gaming today. Let's get to this light switch real quick before it gets too dark. Beautiful. Nicely lit. Cozy. And seeing as I already had the electric system there, I even added my first turrets to the base to not only protect me from door campers, but to also give my solo allies a place to run to if they were close by and getting chased by groups. And in turn, they offered me on their turrets. All right, let's go for a ram. I wouldn't mind getting some turrets on the back too. Just two more turrets. Thank you for all. Oh, Oh, good. Both my allies have turrets on their bases, so that's good. Now, we needed to do the most expensive part of the base. I grabbed all of my scrap and all of the components I wanted to recycle, headed on over to Outpost, did a big recycle, then I spent all of that scrap on 16x scopes, which I then recycled as well to end up with all of this high-quality metal to upgrade the outside of my TP with. But before I left, I ran into an old friend. That dude's wearing a Sir Winter t-shirt. Oi, come here. Yeah, you. <laughs> ah, I fucking saw the shirt. I was like, gotta say good day. What's going on, Droggy? Hey, this dude's out of here rapping. Good on you, Pretty duck. Good, eh? Hey? Better uh, guide you home, lead the way. Oh, it's okay. Short run. I'm sure I'll make it. All right, All right man. I'll see you around. That was insane, that amount of high quality we just got. <laughs> Bro, it's armored. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Oh, I didn't actually put doors on these. I could have done the bloody half walls. My base had ascended to the next and final level. And as far as I was concerned, it was now basically complete, except for a few extra doors and just a couple of little extra upgrades. Fully armored exterior, sheet interior, filling up with heaps of doors, new armored doors were put on, and the turrets were switched over from pythons to bolt action rifles. This truly was the most OP solo base I've ever lived in. Now, all I had to do was fill it with as much loot as I could get my hands on. All right, I guess we can go for a roam. Oh, ladders. I wanna see, I wanna actually go up in the hill and have a look up there. See who's moved into that, because I hear Tommy's up there too. Fucking drog. More on your body. I'll protect you while you build.
I'm gonna have to repair my Tommy. Fucking hell, it is a solo army. We got a, all of us in this team are solos now. Oh, you don't. Say this. You're welcome. Oh! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, you drove. Hey bro, you want a collaborative raid this dude that just killed me and Drog? Where I live? It's, it's two doors, like in between, uh, on the other side of that electrical station over there. It's like a two by one. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. No way like. yeah, I can make the rockets right now if you want to come cover. Hey, 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 don't come- Is that him? Nah, that wasn't him. His name's like, uh, I don't even know. We'll find out when he's raided. Can you make SAR and explosive bullets enough for two doors then? Um, I'll make a, I'll make a s two satchels. I don't have explosive bullets. All right, all right. Why can't I see him? Bro, I could not see that guy who was shooting. Just about ready. Yeah, no worries. I'll bring on Molly for TC and a double door to seal. Mm -hmm. There's like a ninja suit on the... Yeah, that, that guy just killed me. Over there. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. it might be this dude, actually. He was wearing a ninja suit when he killed me and drove. Watch yeah, out, then. He'd have Tommy. I think it might be him. You throw the satchel first. I'll blow when it blows. Yeah, he's on the, oh, he's on the cliff behind your base. Just run in there and throw the second one on straight away. Oh, that's him. Left the guns in here. Shit for TC, holy shit. Chop you out, bro. Chop you out. Just come to my base. Okay, we're out of full inventory of farm. Oh, okay, go dump then. Go dump. I'll just come dumping yours, bro. Just stone and shit, but better than nothing. Is your uh, Tommy back? Oh, so thank you. Girl. Just let it cool down for a bit, and then I'll then I'll head back. <laughs> he just lost his base, bro, and everything <laughs> straight away. That's fucked. Yeah, bro, that was quick. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Thanks, bro. No worries. Too easy. Solos strong together. Oh yeah, now this is an insanely hard raid. We'd gotten rid of another threat and I'd finished making all the doors for the base. Earlier I'd mentioned I could hear Tommy's up the hill. Well, now they were taking heli. I went up to see what I could do. Look at this big handsome dog, ooh, ooh. What the fuck just happened? Come to me the night is dark. Come to me the night is dark. Come to me the night is long.
bro. I just went deep on a base. I'm fucking loaded. Go to that snowy hill. There's a ladder on the side. Go in there. <laughs> Take that. I'll try and kill him on roof. You get up there. Nah, mate. That's all you. That's all you. Keep it. That's all you. Nah, I don't care. I got, I got him back for you. Because I love you. You're my boy. Nah, I just got like fucking seven sets off them, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy. Alright, let us on about be on my way. That deepening was so punishing. I thought, surely not. I, you know, I couldn't do that again. But hell, <laughs> I was going to try. <laughs> They come outside and get me, I'm fucked. Come on, Dubsy! Hello! Come on, Dubsy! Come on, Dubsy! You fucking not a second sooner, mate. Me dead, holy shit. If you go up there, there's another kid in there somewhere, like fucking downstairs. Oh my god, I'm loaded again. Dude, I I killed the I, I killed the dude climbing up the ladder. Yeah. Oh, thank and god. as like as I was rolling up, he would have fucking beamed the crap out of you. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, bro, that was intense. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy the loot, my friends. All good. Well, I didn't get as deep that time, but I did score a couple of extra Tommies and a shitload of extra resources. Hell, I even ran around the bottom of the mountain in the morning and caught one of them farming up a lot of wood to build up their base. As I was leaving my base, right out the back, the underground train system ran through. I could actually hear if it was going to our post, and indeed, it was. Hello? Are they pulling up here? Now they're starting up again, they're going to the outpost. Are they leaving? No, they're not. Dump to my ammo at home like an idiot. And there's like fucking 50 guys here.
Hello. All right, we made it. Oh my god. Oi! Why you dog? Bro, I think he's all being all the scavenged. Go? Yeah. There was like 50 bajillion naked over here. Yeah, I, yeah. I killed three kitted guys and then fucking two million nakeds came. I know. I saw. Them all, mate. I'd Bro, that was that was a swarm. Don't know why that dude was so triggered, but he brought over his team to try and lure me over to get a Tommy kit. You fat ah! oh, oh, oh. Old cunt. Yeah, little monkey over grass. here. You unemployed? You unemployed, you little old cunt. Yeah, unemployed. Yep. Got me. Got me. Drop your gun. Well, that didn't work out for him, did it? Sit, bitch. Not long after that toxic encounter, Valley came over to check out the teepee. You love the yellow, don't you? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is ritzy, bro. Yeah, ritzy, I love that. After that, the guys I went deep on up the hill started roof camping now that they'd built up their base. I mean, we couldn't have that, so we just made a plan on the fly. Oi, 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 go make, go make ladders and I'm gonna kill the roof camper for you. Go steal his bolty straight away. We are, we are, we are. We got him, we got him. We got him. Oh, wait, I can, I'm looking at him. A bit later on, they added some extra roof protection for what I could only presume would be more roof camping. So I went over to show them that they could still bleed. Dark of night, a foot of snow, pure and white and deadly, my father took me I kind of felt bad now at this point. I mean, even if I was solo, it did feel like I was beginning to bully this group. So I decided to leave them alone after that. I instead went and focused on upgrading a couple of extra things in my base before leaving it to stand watch in the wind until the inevitable wipe happened for Winterrest Monday at 3pm today, which I'll be playing.
All right, something I gotta do real quick. The higher foundations, I wanna turn to armored. Cause I feel like if they just see for that, that goes. Oh, actually it'd be cheaper for me to just chuck metal. Ah, whatever, we're here now. Well, I think I'm going to call the wipe there, guys. Check it out. Super impressive, this base. Such a hard raid, dude. Like, no one's going to raid it. It's going to decay. Like, I'd look at this, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I wouldn't even attempt doors. Like, watch this. I'm going to close up the base for my final farewell and just look how insane this is. I watched my goods all through the snow And you he walked within me I rolled my fire to slaughter's name And offered one last prayer The ice cracked on the frozen lake My father's love was there God of the night Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would cry if I tried rating this. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.